In this video, we will describe how to set the calibration when the camera is installed on the second arm of the SCARA robot in the Vision System RCX IV2+. This video assumes the following equipment configuration. SCARA robot, second arm view camera, robot controller RCX340, Vision System RCX IV2+, support software RCX Studio 2020 and RCX IV2 Plus Studio. Camera calibration is a work of matching the coordinates in the image captured by the camera with the coordinates of the robot. This will allow users to convert points on the camera image to robot coordinates. Since the positional relation between the camera and the robot is a critical factor in calibration, please perform the calibration work when the RCX IV2 Plus system is used for the first time or when the positional relation between the camera and the robot changes. A calibration tool is required in order to perform calibration. Please prepare a tool that is easy to recognize the position of the tip and can be attached to the robot R-axis. Install the calibration tool so that the tip matches with the center of rotation of the robot's R-axis. If the tip of the calibration tool is offset from the robot's R-axis rotation center position, users need to create a hand definition. The fiducial mark is a mark that serves as a reference when performing calibration. Please prepare two marks with different shapes so that the detection position is easy to define and the angle can be identified. Place the two fiducial marks as far apart as possible within the field of view of the camera. At this time, make sure that the height from the camera to the mark is the same as the height at which the actual workpiece is projected. Click the Mark tab of RCX IV2 Plus Studio and register the fiducial marks at Mark 0 and Mark 1. The registration procedure is the same as normal model registration. Select Mark 0, click Set Pattern, and then click Grab. Do not touch the focus or diaphragm of the lens that was adjusted for the actual workpiece. To adjust the brightness, adjust it with lighting volume or exposure time. Please do not forget to return the changed parameters to the original values after calibration is completed. With the two marks in the field of view, click Start, enclose one mark in a red frame, and click Register. Click Set Parameter, edit parameters as needed and click Update. Click Set Contour, paint the edges that will be used for mark detection, and click Update. If nothing is painted, all edges will be used. Click Set Position, place the detection position mark on the part to use as a mark reference, and click Update. Select Search Test, then click Search. Confirm that the mark is successfully detected. Also, click Search while the registered mark is hidden, and check that the mark is not detected. Select Mark 1, and click Copy a mark to copy Mark 0. In Set Pattern, enclose the other mark in a red frame and click Register.
Perform from set parameter to search test in the same way as for mark 0 and check that each of the two marks can be detected stably without false detection. In camera calibration, the tip of the calibration tool must be recognized as the robot's current position. If the center of the R-axis of the robot and the tip of the calibration tool do not match, set the tip of the calibration tool as hand data. If the tip of the calibration tool shifts due to the R-axis rotation movement, it will affect the position accuracy. Use the RCX Studio 2020 wizard to register the tip of the calibration tool position as a hand. We will introduce an example of registering for hand 3. Place the marks that make it easy to match the tip of the calibration tool within the movable range of the robot. There's no problem, even if it is used in common with the fiducial marks. Double-click Hand in the window tree to display the hand editor. Click Wizard and follow the message. Select hands attached to R-axis and click Next. Select the hand number H3 and click Next. Perform the jog operation to move the robot so that the tip of the calibration tool matches the mark. When the detection point of the fiducial mark matches the tip of the calibration tool, click Next. At this time, the hand must be deselected. After rotating the R axis by jog operation, move the XY axis to match the detection point of the fiducial mark with the tip of the calibration tool and click Next. Click Next to display the calculation result. Click Finish to save the calculation result. The Z-axis coordinate value of the robot running the wizard is registered in parameter 3. Overwrite 0, 0.000 and save it. Select the hand number Hand 3 to register and perform the R-axis jog operation. Make sure that it rotates around the tip of the calibration tool. Please keep this hand data set until the calibration work is completed. In this section, we will explain the calibration procedure using the wizard. Switch RCX IV2 Plus Studio to monitor mode before starting the wizard. Double click camera calibration in the window tree of RCX Studio 2020. Click wizard, select simple for manual calibration and click next. Since the fiducial mark 0 and mark 1 are already registered, click Next without any operation. For the calibration number, set the number to save the calibration settings. Up to 32 calibration settings can be saved. Enter one of 0 to 31.
Set the channel of the camera to be imaged in the camera channel. Set second arm for the installation method. And down direction for the camera direction. And click next. When the fiducial marks are detected, detected is displayed. Click next when both fiducial marks are detected. After that, do not move the fiducial marks until the calibration work is completed. If the fiducial mark cannot be detected, review the fiducial mark settings from RCX IV2 Plus Studio. Move the tip of the calibration tool to the position of the detection point at fiducial mark 0. When using the PBX for jog operation, please do not forget to switch the control right. After matching the tip with the detection point at mark 0, click Next. Move the tip of the calibration tool to the position of the detection point at fiducial mark 1. After matching the tip with the detection point at mark 1, click Next. The calculation result of the calibration is displayed. Click Finish and a save confirmation message will be displayed. Click Yes. Users can check the calibration data in the camera calibration window. That is all the explanation of calibration of the second arm view camera.